Welcome, this is Zingler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, and today's episode is entitled More of Everything. Uh, the dateline is Gig Giga Nevada, Wednesday, July 17th, in uh, about 7 a.m. in the morning. The focus of today's episode is all of this work on the foundation and footings. Um, I would say about a third of the entire footprint of the building has been completed in terms of digging the footings and the perimeter foundation. And um, we'll see later that uh, the extent of those footings, how far back they go to the um, south end of the property, southwest end is where they're working. They started at the northwest end and they've worked all the way down back to the southwest end and now they're going toward working their way east. One thing that I would like to any viewer has input on is the fact that they're using um, this, these foundation reinforcements versus rebar cages. They're, they're in their units that are delivered intact and they're put in to the footings and um, you get a little better view of it later in some close-ups, but um, they don't appear to be, uh, rebar cages are, are gonna be employed. And I'm sure someone out there with construction experience may know about it. I've mentioned before, there's the same, similar uh, reinforcements that they're putting in on the I-80 road improvement over in California to prevent the diesel trucks from, uh, and uh, heavy, heavy, heavy trucks with chains from digging those grooves into the um, pavement. In any event, there's no cement yet, but that is, but there is a batch plant nearby. And um, when we start seeing cement being poured, that'll be another uh, milestone. The, uh, another milestone will be the day that we see cranes show up. And those cranes will be to move, to place the pilings and, uh, and the, the steel girders that will um, the footprint of this new building is much larger than ever would have been accommodated by the um, addition to the existing Giga Nevada and that is probably one of the biggest reasons why that rendering that we saw uh, last year with the completed and filling out of the Giga Nevada building was um, suspended in favor of this whole new separate building. Uh, there's the existing Giga Nevada and just look how much space there is for this semi-factory. I do believe that the uh, existing Giga Nevada building will someday be completed and l be pictured, but. Uh, it was not enough space for the Tesla Semi. Looking at the um, footings and the exterior perim the perimeter foundation, I'm counting a clear lane and an assembly line as you go from west to east. And so far, there's enough room for four assembly lines. And as we pan to the rest of the space, it looks to me like there's, um, if they use the whole first floor of this building and the building goes all the way over to where it's graded, you're gonna have room for 12 or more assembly lines for just for the, uh, for the uh, Tesla Semi, which is uh, really good news. This is a look at some of the, the materials that were delivered over the past couple weeks and again, I can't emphasize enough, enough if you've been following along with me, how slow, seemingly slow the progress was since December. And now in the last two or three weeks, uh, things are, are going crazy. And here's a, just a video of the drone returning to home. And um, I'll leave you with that and I'll keep following for more progress. Can't wait to see the cranes arrive. Thanks for watching. Oh,